From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Two areas in the tropics we're watching. As of right now, at least Tuesday morning, a low risk for either one of these, but you notice this area of low pressure kind of moving towards the Lesser Antilles. Again, a low chance for that to develop much over the next seven days. And watching this little wave here, Hurricane Center kind of puts it off the southeastern coast. Again, low chance for further development over the next seven days. But again, something we'll be watching. We'll be watching this one a little bit closer just because it's a lot closer to home. So far, we've had four named storms. Don was a hurricane over the weekend. As of right now, no named storms out in the tropics. But back here at home, got some great pictures from our WLTX Gandy's Gardeners Facebook page. Some potatoes, a pumpkin, nice flowers there. Also some peppers, tomatoes, and a bee doing a little bit of its work. Again, we always appreciate you guys sharing your images with us. Appreciated the cooler, at least slightly cooler temperatures over the past few days. Yesterday only hit 90 degrees at the Columbia Airport. Picked up four hundredths of an inch of rain. There were just a handful of isolated showers and storms across the area yesterday. I think the rain chances today will be even smaller. If you are lucky enough to maybe squeeze out that shower or thunderstorm later today, just consider yourself lucky because it's going to be pretty dry over the next several days. It looks like our next best chance for rain for more widespread rainfall is going to be the second half of the weekend. So Sunday will probably be our next best chance for any kind of widespread rainfall. Here's a European forecast model showing that with that next best chance rain coming in on Sunday. Some rain along the coastal region of South Carolina Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe even into Saturday as well. Over the next seven days, trace amounts of rain at best, maybe a tenth. You see that little polygon right there, about a tenth of an inch, some higher amounts over towards the PD and over towards the Grand Strand, but not a ton of rain expected. It is going to be noticeably hotter today compared to yesterday with these highs in the mid 90s. Heat index values will be climbing as well. Lows tonight will drop back down into the lower to middle 70s. As we mentioned, heat index values will be climbing probably in the triple digits Wednesday and Thursday. And if you head into the lake, might be a good spot as these temperatures continue to heat up with Things in the low to mid 90s. Marion, Monticello, Murray, and Lake Watery, and along the coastal region, beach forecast looking pretty good, upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Here's our seven day forecast for the Midlands. Pretty quiet weather. It's going to be hot, it's going to be humid. Highs in the mid 90s. Maybe a little bit hotter over the weekend, the last weekend of July 2023, with that next best chance rain coming in on Sunday. The coastal forecast looks like the next best chance rain is Sunday as well. Highs in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees in the upstate. Pretty quiet with that next best chance rain coming in on Sunday. Looking ahead towards the start of August, August 1st through August 7th, looks like warmer than normal conditions across South Carolina. Matter of fact, warmer than normal conditions across a large part of the South.